Compa. It's noon, baby. What's up? It's noon. What's up? It's 12 o'clock. <laughs> you think he's gonna accept? You think Triple G is gonna accept? Uh, he need it. He need it. They both. I, I genuinely believe they both need each other. Yeah, it takes two. Because I think that uh, at the end of the day, Triple G don't want to fight his mandatories, and with the politics and boxing, it'll be hard for Canelo to find a. An opponent outside of Daniel Jacobs, per se, you know what I mean? So, yeah, no money. No money. Triple G Canelo. Canelo, baby, all the way. You already know. But do you think Triple G is going to accept the contract? Most likely, he's, good. he's got to. He's got you think to. so? He's going to do it. They're going to do it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. What do you think, Papa? Oh, he has to sign it. Yeah? He has to, there's no way he can go. I mean, and then at the end of the day, he got a pay raise. Thirty, he got a seven and a half percent pay raise. Who gets a seven and a half percent pay raise overnight? He's, he's got the best deal in his hands right now. He's, he's he'd be too stupid not to take it. Yeah, let's say that fight. How much does that fight do? Seventy-five million. Probably. Probably seventy-five million. Probably seventy-five million. And if they don't do it now, it's over. Like the the whole like the whole like zeal is like. Mm. It becomes more of a soap opera, like like Deontay Wilde, Anthony Joshua is becoming. Like Anthony Joshua is like, sign the sign the damn fight already. You know what I mean? What do you think, Mole? Mole, brother Mole. What do you think? <laughs> Triple, fight? Triple G gonna take the fight? I think he should. I think it's about time. I mean, either it's time for him, it's time for him to get up to the height. Mm -hmm. And you know And. I want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> and, and, we want to see it. <laughs> and it's actually time for Triple G to beat somebody. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like convincingly beat somebody, like overwhelm somebody. I'm not saying he beats Canelo, but it's time for him just to put his stamp on his career. I don't think he's put like a, a real stamp on his career. Like, yeah, you know? Uh -huh, I mean, although he, although he reached the success that fast, Triple G, so what? 13-0, 14 0 it's time to go fight somebody. You got how many buildings? Well, he just got one taken, so. Well, he got three, three of the four. Right. So he got two of the four now. Right. Two of the made. On, well, man. lineal championship. He got who has the lineal championship? <laughs> oh, see, see. <laughs> <laughs> well, Canelo is a champion. Canelo is a champion. So I didn't, I didn't belt. think Canelo had a belt. I forgot I, he even had a belt. Yeah, I forgot he had the lineal shot. But, but you know, that's in house. Yeah, right, right. That's in house. So. Well, he's, he's gotta take that fight, man. Uh -huh. It's time. I hope so. My phone should be blowing up any minute now with, but you know what, with, man, it's with such, Texas it's and DMs. It's such a plethora of, um, of boxers within his weight class. Like, it's so many fighters now. It's like, come mm -hmm. on. It's time for boxers to take that step back to, to his greatest in the world. Ask Fernando what he thinks. Fernando! Fernando Pimentel. What up? What happens at 12 o'clock? Well, Triple G should have signed a contract at 12. If he didn't, then I guess they're moving on. With Golden Boy, that is. I don't know what happens at 12. But then they might say 12 o'clock Hawaii time. Nah, but Triple G's... <laughs> but Triple G's no, 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 no. Time. But Triple G's 12 o'clock Russia time. Oh, yeah, so yeah. He's a day ahead of he's us. He's a day ahead of us, he's yeah. He's a day ahead of us. So uh -huh. I don't know. But he's in Russia for the World Cup. That's all I know. Locker's trying to find a way to get a hold of him. 12 o'clock happened. Winning gone. It's not hard to get a hold of someone when you're talking millions. It ain't, hard, man. All I know, all I know, it ain't hard to get a hold of me if you just want to talk to me. So okay, I, This is pretty true. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty true. Uh, I don't know. Let's just hope uh -huh. they make something. Obviously, they haven't made an announcement yet uh -huh. because they're still working on it. Uh, what will Triple G do? That's the question. Hopefully, put his pen to that contract. How much is that fight worth, you think? Well, think about it this way. The last fight did what? How much money, Jose? They're like about 100 mil, right? 100 million, would you say? 100 mil. They're offering them 40. 75 and up. 75 up okay, is a good let's number. Say, let's say 100. Let's leave it at a flat. Yeah. So we can do the math. So we can do the math. They're offering them. 42.5%. That means he's getting $42.5 million yeah. out of it. Yeah. Canelo's getting $57.5 yeah. million yeah. out of it. That is double what Triple G made in the last fight. Yeah. Even, oh. Triple G made like what? Like in the last fight, how much did he make? I don't know. Well, I think it's more. 
maybe almost three four. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. The money is too good. Right? And where else is Triple G gonna make forty two and a half million dollars? Where else is Canelo gonna make 57 million? Yeah, this is true, right. but Canelo can still make 40 million versus anybody That's else. What I'm to tell Canelo guys. can make 40 million. Look, I'm not, and I, I, hold on, excuse me for saying this, I am not the biggest Canelo fan there is in the world, nor am I a Triple G fan. I just look at the way things are. Yeah. Canelo That's can make 40 million versus anybody. That's what I'm trying to say. Triple G can't make nine figures versus anybody. He can, I agree. He can make eight, but not nine. You mean seven. So, yeah, seven. seven. <laughs> I say we talking Floyd, yeah, we're talking no, Floyd McGregor. Floyd. Yeah, he can make seven million. Uh -huh. He can make seven figures versus sure. somebody. He can't make eight figures versus somebody. Canelo can, guaranteed versus anybody. Doesn't matter. He can go fight in Texas. He'll sell that. He'll sell that. No, he can go fight in Texas. Yeah. He'll sell fifty thousand. He, he can fight. He can fight Gary O'Sullivan, and people will freaking go out to see him. But doesn't matter. He's gonna get his forty million. Where can Triple G get that money? Where can he get ten million? Right. I mean, Canelo did it against. Uh, he did it against Khan. He did it against Chavez. He did it against Kirkland, and that wasn't even. He paper. sold that place. Tickets that were five dollars though, but yeah, they got it done. Canelo, Canelo, Canelo's the cash cow. He can't deny it. His skills, his defense is very underrated. Very good fighter, and he can make the money. Triple G can't. Reality, reality of it all is, Canelo's the A side. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Triple G's the B side. A seven and a half percent increase for anybody at a job, they'll take it at a job. Yeah, drop drop That's what I say, drop seven and a half percent. And right now, he went from 35 percent to 42 and a half. You take yeah, that you damn money. And, and mind you, and mind you, and mind you, most people think he won the first fight. If you, if you talk boxing community, they say he won the first fight. Win it again, get a third match, make the money your way. Do what Deontay Wilder did versus Joshua. All right, let's agree. I'll go to the UK, but if I beat you, you gotta come back here to the US and I'll make more money the next time. It's just stuff like yeah. that. That's how it works. That's how it should work. That's what negotiations now, are about. Yeah. I mean, if JGD don't sign this contract, that means one thing, one thing only. He doesn't want to fight Canelo. I agree. I agree there because he can't say it's about the belt any longer because the IBF is All gone. the money. He can't say, he can't say it's about the belt. Or legacy. Or because le Canelo's a legacy fight. Yeah, but Canelo. again, again, uh, I don't know. Triple G seems like one of those type of guys that's up for principle and everything like that. Who literally stands up for the moral standard yeah. and everything. Yeah, but he and he doesn't want Bell no more. I know, no, no. But I'm not gonna go there. I'm just saying he seems like the type of guy who, who you know, follows the moral standard and moral code. His moral standard and code is, I won the first fight. I should get more. Yeah. And for him to say 50-50 is kind of like, all right, look, man. Just because you got the draw, we're gonna do it this way. So it also depends on Triple G, the person, not just the fighter. And that's reality. But I mean, you got to separate both of them. Like no, me and you have been talking about. No, you right? said it right. Adrian Broner is Adrian Broner, but when he gets caught up in AB, he's freaking lost. No, you said it right. right. You got to separate everything. This is a business. Yeah. He fights for money, right? Yeah. And I kind of agree with Abel Sanchez though too. None of these type of negotiations, and Bob Aaron, none of these negotiations should honestly be done on social media. They should all be done behind closed doors. Yeah. We, I, we don't really necessarily care how much money they make because at the end of the day, we don't get a freaking We just want to see the fight. We just want to see. We pay. <laughs> We're paying. Why are you getting paid that much? Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just you know, sign a contract, you know. get 100 million, get your 42 and a half, beat them the second time around like you did the first time. This time more convincing than you get your money on the third fight. You know, just invest in yourself. That's what you're doing right there. Because he's not getting any younger. He's not getting any younger. He's what, 30? Next time they fight, if they fight in May, he's gonna be 37 or something. If they do a third fight, and they might do it in December too, but still, come on, just, just and, money and invest. And it's stuff. a guaranteed next fight. No matter who wins or how they win, it's a guaranteed next fight because the and first fight was exactly. a competitive draw. Unless it's a well, well, it's a first. It's an early round knockout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's like an 11th round knockout, yeah, it just makes it just makes perfect sense. Yeah. Just, if I, were, if I were on anybody's side in this situation, it'd be sign the damn contract, really. Be, because now it's, t tell me tell me what you think about this. I, I said it to them. Now it's like, if they don't do it now, it's all downhill yeah. from them from this point. In terms of the public, public opinion. Well, for both of them. Yeah. Because Canelo can't make up any of the wrongdoings that happened earlier this year with him fighting anybody else other than Triple G. Uh, Triple G can't make the money he can versus Canelo versus anybody else. So they're both in a lose-lose situation. They need one another. If they don't want to admit it to one another, they do need each other. Canelo, the only person you could probably fight that could probably get him any credibility would either be Jacobs or Charlo. But Jacobs is going to go against uh, Nervichenko from when they're announcing. Mm -hmm. And Charlo, no one knows what he's going to do. He, he said he would wait for it, but even the WBC mandated if Triple G doesn't fight Canelo, he has to fight. Charlo. Charlo. So, 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 who, so who does Canelo fight? Gary Spike O'Sullivan?
Billy Joe Saunders so he could pull out in the last minute with an injury? Like, <laughs> he can pull out. But that was horrible about Billy Joe Saunders. Now he has no one. No, but see, that's the thing, though. If you recall, Golden Boy did this last year. Oh, we all know. Golden Boy did the Triple G. Triple G was going to fight Saunders in June at Kazakhstan, but they showed him. If you fight him, you're jeopardizing the September bout versus Canelo. What happened? Triple G pulled out. Billy Joe Saunders had a June date. June 23rd. Pulled out. Why did he pull out? Undisclosed injury, no one's seen any report or anything. What the hell is that siren? Mm -hmm. They're <laughs> like, coming no for us. Any injury report, no one's seen anything like that. Mm -hmm. So really, did Billy Joe Saunders pull out due to an injury or did he pull out because he got a side deal? Oh. And he's the one who's really going to fight Canelo. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, there's so many yeah. things, there's so many conspiracies, so many things you can think about. But what is it? And then, yes, sign the damn contract. Yes, Just sign the contract. <laughs> At the end of the day, sign the fucking contract the already. The day, I'm tired of talking about it. I'm tired. I'm tired of talking about Dude, it. What did we ask the? What did we ask with Gian Abel Sanchez and Tom Loeffler after uh, the Ronnie fight? Aren't you guys tired of like answering the Canelo? Oh, we're tired of it. And they're both. Oh, it's they exhausting. Are. They are. It's exhausting. It's, 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 it's like your girl reminded you. I cheated on you four years ago. Get the fuck we're over it already. Like actually, it'd be three. It'd be three. <laughs> <laughs> we're going on to four. <laughs> Wait. Nah, man, but uh, it just it just needs to stop already. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Mind you, uh, a year ago they announced the fight, the first fight on June sixth. We're already. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I got a that was smart. Of, uh, June sixth. That they was smart. It last year, so this time. Well, they really announced the single de Mayo last year. No. Because no, he walked no. into the ring. Yeah. Oh, uh, they announced it, but they announced the the venue. The venue. They, okay. They announced okay. the venue on June fifth. Uh -huh. But right now, it's getting close to July. Woo. It's getting close to July, so that means. You have July, August, and September to train. You need an announcement. You need an opponent. You need to press tour already. So sooner than later, what, on Saturday is what, the 16th? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's half of the month. You got literally two weeks to plan a press tour. Who the hell's your opponent? Who are you going to announce? It has to be Triple G. Can't be anybody else or else Canelo wins nothing. He wins nothing out of it. Because mm. at the end of the day, he tested positive and did wrongdoings to who? Triple G. Uh -huh. Didn't do it to any other fighter. So who do you need to make it up to? Him. G can't make the money he can, he needs to go to Canelo. He just needs to realize this, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. Last words. What do you say? <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? West Side Boxing Gym, stand up. Yeah. Get <laughs> <laughs> don't give a damn. <laughs>